One question that often comes up at this time during the quarter is what is the difference between initializing from a master course or importing a course archive? So uh, in Angel there are master courses and you can use any course actually can become a master course. You just have to, as an Angel administrator, designate a given course as a master and then you can link it to the correct courses or make it accessible to the correct courses. But if you are using a, a master course, in the quarterly course, uh, you just go to the Manage tab and to the Import Console. The instructor can do this. And on your list of things to import from, you have a master course. Initialize the course based on a master template. Uh, this is designed so that if you have many sections of one course and you want everybody to have the same course content, it's easy to copy it out to all those different shells. Uh, it's also used sometimes by people who are, are themselves teaching um, more than one copy of uh, content that they're maintaining and they want to be able to, again, propagate it out. Anyway, I choose my source co course and I'll choose this one. I can choose to have the course backed up before I import, uh, replace or not replace all existing content. If I don't check this and I have course content in my course, it's going, I'm going to end up with multiple sets of course content. And then do I want to copy team settings or not? I will click the copy button and it tells me that uh, the course copying is in process. And that's it. So I know that um, when this is done, probably in a few minutes, I'll have all of that stuff from the master course moved over to my quarterly course. So another option uh, is to export an archive file, and this is probably more common. Uh, so the instructor or someone else would go to the course that uh, we wanted to copy from, and uh, let's just imagine that this empty shell course is my previous quarter course, and I want to make a, uh, an archive of it. So instead of going to the Import console this time, I'm going to go to the Export console on the Manage tab, and I'm going to choose to make an Angel format export file. I could also choose common cartridge uh, if I wanted to go to a different LMS and choose what it is I want exported. Uh, I'll just choose my content and my settings. That's uh, going to be gradebook settings, that kind of thing. And I hit next. And it's now going to go into the queue. Starting in Angel version 7.4, we have what's called the content exchange queue. So these export jobs will go to this queue and then uh, balancing the other needs in the system, it will do the work of exporting it uh, as soon as it can. Once it's done doing that, when I go back to the export console, this uh, export job here that's currently queued, and it might take it 10 or 15 minutes usually, sometimes longer. Uh, when this is done, there'll be a file name here that I can actually right click on and save the file. So the file that I will get uh, will be a zip file and I can download that to my local hard drive and then let's say that we've now gone into the course where we want this content to be imported into I'm going to go back to the import console again but this time instead of choosing master course I could choose content package and then I can browse uh, to the location on my computer where I have the the zip file that was created in the archive process and I can upload the file uh, again like with uh, with creating an archive uh, or initializing from a master, there will be some working time for Angel. I'll have to upload the content package and then it will be uh, unzipped and ultimately all of that content and course settings will end up in my course here.